But the, the problem with proportional representation in the Senate is, is that it's in, the Senate was designed as the state's house, but it's increasingly the city's house as more and more voters in the states concentrated in the cities. Now, that's not to say, though, that the Senate is wrong to be, to be done on a proportional representation system. Uh, actually, what's interesting about the Australian Parliament is that the two houses of Parliament were designed as equally powerful branches of Parliament. The Senate is not designed, as in, say, the United States, to be some sort of quasi-aristocracy. What we have is two Houses of Parliament that in different ways aggregate the various interests of Australians. And so each piece of legislation in Australia is put to two different majoritarian tests. Uh, and this is in line with what I would call the spirit of federation, that Australia was actually founded uniquely, perhaps, uh, on a kind of majoritarian, populist even, if you like, uh, basis, uh, where our legislation is basically... Uh, put to the test of does it serve the greatest number of people as well as it can. Uh, and so I would say that it's not about making the, the lower house more like the upper house. It's about, what re about retaining what makes the lower house distinctive, which is geographic representation, but looking at doing that in a more, in a more granular way that better captures uh, the different interests that we see across the country.